free Theo address inside of the Garda web wallet. Um, you'll want to go to garda.com slash web hyphen wallet. It is in their web wallet. That this is currently available. You can click sign in. It'll take you to another page. And on this page, uh, you'll want to click create a new wallet <coughs> for your new wallet. So we'll go ahead and uh, just uh, select uh, password here. Um, and it's going to create the wallet for me. So as it's uh, creating the wallet here, once this is done, I'll be able to uh, click on a link to create a human readable FIO address. You can use that uh, address once it's created to send and receive any type of crypto to any other field enabled wallet or exchange just using a human readable address. It can also use it to do FIO requests, requests for payment, um, where you can request crypto, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, etc., cetera, um, from your Garda wallet uh, to any other uh, FIO enabled product. And there's a more extensive uh, demo um, available for that. So I'm now in my Garda wallet. And if I just scroll down a little bit below all the uh, wallets it created on the left, you'll see FIO address right here at the top of the options. If I just click FIO address right away, it's going to explain to you a little bit more about the FIO address. And you can see the button for get FIO address. It's very simple, just click on that. That will take you out to uh, another page. And here you can now pick your username um, and may see if it's available. So I'm going to pick my username on the Garda domain. So uh, let's just do test five and we'll check availability for that. And it is available. So I can go ahead and I will register this FIO address for free. I just click register. And now uh, after I do the CAPTCHA here, it's going to uh, take a few minutes to confirm that on the blockchain. Once it's uh, confirmed in the blockchain, uh, I will then show you here um, how you can see it in your wallet. So I'm gonna pause here and come back uh, in just a minute to, to show you that. Confirmed on the FIO blockchain and you'll get a confirmation in the screen that it has been registered. Return to your Garda wallet. Uh, you may uh, need to log back in um, to make sure everything works correctly. Once you do, just go ahead and scroll down to FIO addresses again and click more info. And you'll see up here on the menus you wanna be under FIO address. You'll see your address now appears. Now you're going to map your address to the tokens or coins you wanna use it with. Just click on that little arrow and click manage linked addresses. And you can select which tokens or coins you would like to work with your FIO address, meaning that you could then send or receive those tokens or coins using your human readable FIO address to other FIO enabled products. So um, you can select them all or you can just select some of them. So I'll just select a few here, although selecting them all is often the easiest uh, thing to do. Um, if you just go like this and select all, uh, it also works. Um, but we'll go ahead and select a, uh, a few of them here. And I'll just go ahead and submit those mappings. So it is now linked and I can now use my FIO address to send and receive crypto to other FIO enabled products. I can also do decentralized FIO requests for payments. Please check out the more detailed demo video if you would like that shows uh, FIO re uh, requests between a Garda wallet and an Edge wallet. Thank you.